<laughs> well, leave it up to Ray to send me on a real garbage of an assignment, huh? Here I am standing out in what looks like a trash dump that is not, and I'm right off campus at the University of Georgia. You know, UGA has 12,000 students that eat here every day, and all that food waste, which you're looking at, has to go somewhere. Well, it goes to a place where JB Nation oversees. JB, good to see you. Thanks for being out here with me today. Thank you. JB Nation is a facilities coordinator right here at UGA at the bioconversion facility that deals with this kind of stuff. So I gotta ask JB, when you get this load of used food scraps here, what happens to it from here? How does it get from here to stuff that you could put on landscaping plants? What happens? Well, we use the uh, this material here as our nitrogen source for our compost operation. It okay. gets mixed with our our other waste here, animal bedding, and our landscaping debris. It all gets mixed right together and that, that makes our compost. So you're, and you're mixing this, and we showed some heavy machinery earlier, you're using that machinery to kind of turn this stuff together and that kind of thing? Or? Absolutely, yep, yep. This is one part to 40 parts of our leaf and limb debris. So that's your 40 to one is our mixture that we use here. And this is the nitrogen part this of that? This is the nitrogen. Okay, and I'm gonna tell the folks at home about the carbon part of that in just a second. But I gotta ask, this stuff's in bags. Do you go around or do you have somebody that goes around and empties these bags or how does it get out of the bag? No, nope, we get to throw it all right in cause the bag itself is compostable. Nice, nice. UGA is thinking of everything. So this stuff, and it's not, it's kind of ground up. JB, why is that? It kind of looks like it's been chewed already. Why is it all ground up? It gets pulped out the dining facility itself. It gets run through a pulper, water, and then it's sent here. Interesting. And I have learned before this segment, UGA does all these things to make sure that the food is prepared in this way to be composted. Well, what I want to do next, JB, is talk about that carbon piece of this and how UGA is using the landscaping debris to return to the landscape. So let's do that next. Okay, so the science behind this is just incredible to me. We start with nitrogen that comes from that food waste from all of those students. That goes into an area over there in those windrows. Now we're standing here looking at a bunch of yard waste, which comes from the 750 plus acres of landscape on our campus. JB, what happens from here? Well, about once a year, we have a higher crew that comes in with a tub grinder. They turn this into mulch, just reduce particle size. Okay. It gets mixed with the food waste. This is our carbon. The food waste is our nitrogen. Gets okay. mixed all together, put in the windrows to make our compost. Okay, now with a place like this, folks at home know I'm an animal nut. I'm just imagining this is a great habitat for some of my favorite things like snakes. Have y'all ever seen anything out here like that? Oh, all the time, <laughs> nice. all the time. Th this pile itself generates a lot of heat. So as we're going into the winter, they go to den up. <clears throat> rattlesnakes, coons, possums. You start digging this stuff out and they're in there. Oh, nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You're not afraid of that stuff, are you? Not at all. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about step three, when it goes from the carbon with the nitrogen, how does it get to the product that goes into the gardens? And we're doing that next. All right, so JB, I gotta ask, this is the finished product. Beautiful looking soil that can go back on the landscape. How did we get from yard waste and food to this? <laughs> Well, like I mentioned, we take the landscaping debris that's been mulched up. We mix it with our food. Okay. Our landscaping, you know, our mulch is our carbon. All right. Our food, our nitrogen. Nitrogen, right. Mix that all together, 25 to 30 to one, our nitrogen being our one part. We windrow it. Okay, and these strips, all right. We throw our water on it from our retention pond where we collect all our-, our re Recycled water. Recycled right? water. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we turn it with our big turner. So that kind of puts air into it to help it, it break it down. It it turns it, it exposes new surfaces. And okay. it, yeah, yeah. Then, so this guy right there, that big orange monster, how does that guy get involved in all this? Well, in the end, we take it when it's done, after about a year, nine months to a year. Wow, okay. I need to tell you, it starts out at about 150 degrees. Once you get, uh, your, okay. once you get your, your mixture right, your moisture in there, about 50% moisture, it starts heating up 120, 130, 140, 150 degrees. Wow, okay. We try to keep it right around 150 degrees <clears throat> and then it just kind of breaks down from there. That's when your particles start breaking down. Okay. And in the end, it'll finish off at about 100 degrees and you kind of know it's done. So you pull it out, you throw it through this sifter here okay. and it gives you this beautiful dirt. Takes out any trash? All your contaminants, your rocks, your plastic. 
big pieces of wood that didn't get broke down. Okay, and then this is used back on campus. Back on campus, yep. Incredible. Our landscaping, our hort, the hort farm here, the U Garden, botanical gardens. Wow. All our landscaping, any contractors came on camp, come on campus to work, they get to use it, so. This is something that I think a lot of people at home don't know about, and I really appreciate you sharing this story, JV. This has really been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Y'all, UGA does some incredible stuff with this, and the recycling emphasis that they put on this is incredible. Don't forget, while you're online playing around, check out the Georgia Farm Monitor Facebook page, and while you're there, check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page. We got one of those, and until next time, JB, as we always say, Enthusiasm is contagious, so pass it on. Y'all, thanks as always for watching. We'll be looking forward to seeing everybody when we get back together again next month. See ya.